Hi everyone and thank you for joining us. Welcome to episode two of our series, Psyched to be Back, from the Department of Psychology and Neuroscience. I'm Dr. Aaron Newman, Chair of the Department of Psychology and Neuroscience. I'm Dr. Julie Black. And I'm Dr. Drew Weatherhead. Some of you might not know this, but Dr. Weatherhead and I actually started this job in the middle of the pandemic, so we might not look familiar to you. This also means we haven't spent any time at all inside the LSC. So, uh, we realize that a lot of you students might be just like Dr. Blair and Dr. Weatherhead in that you've never been to the LSC either. So today we thought we'd give you a little tour of the building and show you some of the most exciting parts of the building. It will also help you find the offices of your professors when you want to visit office hours, which means we should probably figure out where our offices are too. Alright, let's go on inside. have office numbers which are really useful. At least they would be if the numbers made any sense, but at least when you get to the door you'll know you're in the right place. Professors will include their room number in their syllabus, so make sure you pay extra close attention so you don't get lost. So one thing about the design of the office block where all the prof offices are is that it's unfortunately not accessible to people with mobility issues. Uh, back when the building was designed, people weren't really thinking about accessibility in the same way, and so there's little staircases that make it really hard for some people to access. Recognizing this, this year we've designated this room, 2267, as our accessible swing space for office hours. So if you can't access a prof's office, you can contact them and just ask to meet in this office, and they can book it and meet with you here. This area is a flat entrance uh, from outside the building, and it's also accessible by elevator. One of the things you'll notice about trying to find your way around this part of the building is the numbering of the floors. Yeah, that's a little confusing, it'll take some getting used to. Yeah, you definitely wouldn't be the first one to get confused about this. Uh, if you have a moment, uh, students, and you have Dr. Stamp as a prof, ask about the infamous Sharpie Gate. Uh, but we have actually put up signs around the staircases with uh, arrows and professors' names uh, directing you to their office. Uh, but just be aware, we actually have three second floors. Part of what makes the department so great is our ability to do groundbreaking research in a number of different topics in psychology and neuroscience. And this is why it's so important that students like you come out and participate in our studies so that we can continue to do this research. Yeah, many of our studies run by undergraduate and graduate students recruit as participants students from our classes. As a student, this is a great way to experience what it's like to be in a psychology or neuroscience experiment and start getting familiar with different labs where you might want to volunteer. So for all of us who have research labs, we rely on your participation and volunteering. And that's where you come in. So when you sign up for a study, this is the lounge where you'll wait to meet somebody from the research team. The Psych Neuro Wing, and by extension the entire LSC, has many different entrances. Earlier, you saw us at the entrance that allows you to enter from the street. But another popular way to get into the Psych Neuro Wing is through the main LSC lobby. Students like to take this way when they're coming from other classes in the LSC or other buildings on campus. You will have to avoid the tempting food choices along the way, though. I highly recommend the big breakfast myself. <laughs> Yeah, and the, the one thing to remember is the numbering of the floors is really strange. And the exit, uh, if you're taking the elevator, the exit is on the second floor, not the first floor. Every year we find students lost and abandoned on the first floor, trying to get out, starving for food, dreaming of that big breakfast. All right, so remember that I told you some of the room numbers are a bit confusing? Well, currently we are standing in both room 4258 and 4263. Uh, these used to be two different classrooms, but we've recently renovated them into one beautiful new classroom. This is also the part of the building where you're going to find the rooms for the lab components of some of your courses, like Intro to Psychology and Neuroscience. You'll also find other classrooms that you might have classes in as well. Don't worry though, these rooms are also numbered just like your professor's office numbers. So it's a little bit less confusing, but we still recommend that you maybe come around and take a peek before your first class. On the non-academic side, these rooms are also bookable for different events. And so, for example, Dalhousie Association of Psychology students and the Undergraduate Neuroscience Society will hold some of their meetings in this room. There are lots of different places that you can study at Dal during the day, but this spot here is specifically for the department's undergraduate students. So this is a great place to come in between your classes to get some work done. It's also a great place to connect with people who are in your program and make new friends. So that is your essential survival guide to the LSC, at least the psychology and neuroscience wing. 
We hope this has been helpful for your first few days here. But if you do get lost, don't worry. There are always a lot of people around, so don't be afraid to ask for directions. So until this fall, take care, stay safe, and of course, we're psyched to be back. back. And cut. Cool, yeah. sweet.